What's up, Zach King from FinalCutKing.com, and today I'm going to be teaching you using the Effects Factory Pro plugins to create a PDF animation and to do some really cool transition in your video clips. Let's start with the PDF animator. I'm going to drag down this PDF, and I can open it up, and in Final Cut Pro, like a bitmap image, it actually distorts it and it ruins the quality, and so that doesn't look too good, and that's a bummer in Final Cut Pro. But I can fix that here. I'm going to delete this. And in our Generators tab, we can come down to Video Generators, Effects Factory Pro, and we've got PDF Animator. Now this will be like a video here. All we need to do is select it, go to our controls in the viewer, and we're going to go ahead and find the PDF original file. So I'm going to choose. At first this can look a little funky, but all it is is you can imagine it like two cameras. And so I'm going to open up presets here. Scroll top to bottom. If I ever open anything with controls, look if it has presets, especially in third party plugins. A lot of times they have really nice presets that are already done for you. And In this case, a scroll top to bottom is already animated for me. This is camera one, position one, and you can see as you scroll through, it's going to take this blue line right here and it's going to go and end in position 2 right down here. So it's really nice that it's already animated for us, but I can go in and change a couple other things here. You can change the page number of the PDF if it has more than one page. So obviously I went too far. I know maybe like uh, page 14 exists and below, so I'm going to go to page 1 though. It's also nice that sometimes a lot of people send me PDFs with passwords, and you can type that right in here and it allows you to use that. Now I need to explain that this you're seeing here in the canvas is not the final view you're going to see. This is actually a setup mode and you can see it corresponds to this checkbox right here in the controls. So if I check it, now in the canvas we're seeing the final video. Okay, so if I wanted to change any bit of the animation, I'm going to check the setup mode. I'm going to go to the last frame. Position 2, I actually want that to end right here up a little bit. And then I'm going to change the duration of the clip. I'm going to go to duration in seconds. So start time is zero, that's correct. I'm going to make it last for six seconds. So hit enter there. Now from the point of here, point one and point two, this is going to be a six second animation. And before we render this out, we need to actually take it off setup mode and go ahead and render. Now I also want to compare the different animator qualities, so if I were to do this regularly in Final Cut Pro, here we go, I'm going to zoom in the same amount here, pull it up, and we'll just start here. So look at the different qualities. This has actually changed the original PDF, and this is the Final Cut version, this is the FX Factory version. Now let's go ahead and play the animation. Okay, now to me that looks pretty uh, linear, I would say that interpolation, if you know what interpolation is here, if you go to the controls, it looks like it's under the curve. So that's what interpolation is, it's the actual curve here, and it is on linear, which is a straight line. If you want to see exactly what I'm talking about, go to the help, and we've got a little diagram here for all the different types. This is the straight line, linear, so it starts right off and doesn't have a nice smooth curve edge, which I like to have. So I would try something either like the quadratic in and out. I'm going to try that. This PDF is really helpful. So now let me render this out. So I'm going to play through some transitions I put here on the clip. I'll be posting this video which is about audio later to the channel this week. So the first effect is a copy machine, then we got a flash, a blur dissolve, and then a whoosh, and then finally a glow. So let me walk you through some of these transitions here. When I double click on a transition, it allows me to select that transition. This one was the copy machine effect. These are just a few of the effects factory transitions that we can find under video transitions and then effects factory pro. So I've got the copy machine, and again, the presets I can choose. 
We can do a bottom-up laser scan, which will start from the bottom, go up, and then slightly back down. Then we can do a red laser, changing the actual color, and this is going to be a little sideways. And then we could try a top-down laser. The cool thing is we can also change the color of the laser here. So let's say I want a, a green laser. Well, then the glow of that laser is going to be green. Again, you can also change the angle right here. Make it 180. I'm going to make this a bluish laser. And then we can change the width, the opacity, and the color opacity. I can save this as a preset myself and say, okay, this is a blue laser. The next time this will be saved as a preset. Let's double click the flash here. Again, another modification can be made here in the color. Let's go ahead and make this a blue since that's kind of a theme I've been using for this video. Again, I like to check the presets and see what they've got here. They've got green light, a little too much, supernova, and a trip to the sun. That's sweet. I'm going to keep it on that one. A little more simple is a blur dissolve. This one's cool. I like the simplicity of it. It just blurs the images, stretches it a tiny bit, and puts it back to normal. Now here I am talking with a friend in a parking lot, and we have a glow into the shopping cart. Okay, well, what I'm going to show you is double-clicking this. This transition has built-in presets here. Now I'm going to check the high-tech blue. And like I showed you before, if I make some changes, maybe something like color. So a couple things I can do here. You can change stuff like the strength here of the effect and the glow it's affecting here. So I'm going to lower that. I'm also going to take the saturation down because it's pretty intense. Then the source luminance, raise that. Now the source softness, we can decrease that. And here's the radius of the glow. Now what's also cool about the glow is you can check this box here, which says use original colors. Now this is really cool because it uses all the colors that are in my picture. So it's going to average out the predominant colors, which in this case is a lot of skin tone and a white. So it's going to take that, blend it together, and create this yellow flash glow. Pretty cool. So these are some of my favorite transitions that I use from FX Factory. Each one has a ton of presets. You can save your own. And really what I love about this software is there's a lot of customization that you can do within each preset. So if you're using FX Factory Pro, I hope this tutorial helps you out. Today I've covered the PDF animator and a few of my favorite transitions. Again, this is a free download for this software, and then you can have a 15-day trial. I got some more awesome tutorials coming out this week, so stay tuned. FinalCutKing.com